The Brinks Gold Supply for the Duran boys. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and in today's video I just wanted to talk about the Brinks countries and the gold supply that they've got access to um, through Australia that not many people know about. And I just really wanted to point out to the Duran guys who I've been following for a fair while and um, yeah, they get a lot of experts on talking about the new currency and all that sort of stuff and whether, you know, they're going to be able to convert it to gold and all that sort of stuff. And I just wanted to point out to them that there is a supply of gold that they can use, that they are using, that they've set up already. A lot of the articles that they talk about and the interviews that they do where people talk about buying stuff from the Chinese and then going down to the Shanghai Gold Exchange and exchanging it for gold, the gold that they're exchanging it for isn't Chinese gold it's actually Australian gold that comes from the Perth Mint here so this is a map of Australia that's just got all the gold active gold mines on it listed up so you can see how many that there are there but if we go over to Google and we just um, Google in the Perth Mint Shanghai Gold Exchange Agreement you can see it was agreed to in late um, 2018 early 2019 and it means that the Perth Mint agrees to guarantee the Shanghai Gold Exchange delivery of gold and they've been doing that ever since. They've tried to throw a, a spanner in the works lately with this latest scandal that they tried to bring onto the Perth Mint um, about not being the 99.999% that they are. Um, somebody in a management position decided to save themselves $600,000 on $26 billion worth of gold and the outcome of that was if you look into it a bit more the Perth Mint or the people that were representing Perth Mint wanted China to send all their gold back for it to be resmelted and sent back properly and they'd exchange it with currency and all that sort of stuff. And so obviously that never happened and the Chinese are still taking the gold from the Perth Mint because that's where it all ends up. And the reason, the other reason that I wanted to point this out to the guys at the Duran is because everybody in that big area there that I showed you, this big gold province here, and I'm going to zero more in on it here, they're all upping their mills. So why is it important to up your mill? So Northern Star approves a $1.5 billion mill upgrade. So basically, the mill denotes how much gold you can produce. So you can't produce any more than the mill will let you. So currently, the super pit um, which is northern stars uh, this big mill here it produces roughly 25 tons of gold th a year they're going to double that production to 50 tons worth of gold and it's all over australia that they're ramping things up because everybody knows that there's something big happening and that gold price in australian dollars is almost three thousand dollars australian which is why everybody's reinvesting in it all but if we go over to this picture here and this is just an an up close version of this and I will scale out on it and you can see the super pit there and it mirrors right up to the town and my youngest was born in Kalgoorlie I've had three separate stints in Kalgoorlie worked in a lot of the underground mines around Kalgoorlie the reason Kalgoorlie is the size that it is and isn't any bigger is because the mining leases come up hard up against it all the way around and it literally is the richest area on the planet and it's used to be called the richest square mile but for me if you zoom out and you start having a look at all the mines that show up it's a lot richer than just a square mile and if you have a look back here like that you can see all these mines and a lot of this this area here is bigger than most countries are and the thing about this area here is that nobody's been over it like a lot of these mines that are still being worked were all discovered a hundred years ago and they're still working them there's so much scope to increase production and that's what they're doing currently we produce about 300 ton of gold a year with all these mill expansions and startups and all that sort of stuff that'll ramp up to between five and six hundred tons a year five or six hundred tons a year that they've got guaranteed access to through the, the shanghai gold exchange that's the convertibility that they're going to be able to source there's nowhere else on the planet like it that can do it they thought that south africa could produce something 
something like this, but it turns out that they didn't really look into it properly, and when the push came to the shove to try and produce more gold in the early um, 2010s when South Africa came on board, they had huge labour issues. Why are we so good at it? Well, we're the best in the world at hard rock underground mining. A lot of these mines are hard rock underground mines. What do I mean by that? If you look at the South African mines that are going at the moment that are all labour inducive, so you've got people actually doing the physical jobs, you might have 30,000 people on, or you might have 10,000 people on three crews, so 30,000 people all up running one mine. We can come in and replace that with 450 people over four crews, and we can get more done in a shorter time and not kill anybody. That's what we export around the world as um, miners and that's why um, yeah they the the Shanghai gold exchange is more than happy to rely on this area to produce their gold there's a funny story um, years ago when the Philippines initially threw the Americans out of their gold mines and the Chi they asked the Chinese to come in and um, mine them and the Chinese told them to go and get the Australians to do it and a company called pry bar went over there um, the companies that were over there stole all the Australians and a lot of them are still over there working in those mines so it's just it is what it is with the amount of gold that there is in the ground that hasn't been touched and the the potential of it all and with the way the economists look at gold production and all that sort of stuff if you take the super pit as an example like they do long shot holes on it so the long shot holes are down to two k's below but the actual diamond drilling holes would only be down to three or four hundred meters below of where they are to be provable. So all and an economist will tell you that there's only five to ten years worth of gold production sitting here. That's bullshit. You know, I've been I've worked in mines that have been going for longer than fifty years that have only had two years mine mine life because once the diamond drillers drill down, they make up the plans. We spend the next two years doing it. In that time, the diamond drillers drill the next lot down. They find the plans they prove it up and you just keep on going over and over again if you want longer holes that cost more money most mines only predict out um, that they can take to the stock exchange um, so they can get money borrowed against it for between two and four years but they all do the long shot holes so they can have a look at what's underneath them and you know like this Tropicana project there's it's still the ore body still they did three three kilometer long shot holes underneath there um, and that's all still good at three k's there's there's more around sunrise down another example of that one they've done deep um, holes on that one so that's going to be a great big huge mine and then that's even without going to the eastern states the eastern states have got a lot of big gold mines that have got 50 years mines plus you know in them and so what i'm trying to tell everybody is that if you want a job gold mining is the place to do it because it pays good money like the underground crew you can make between four hundred and two and a half thousand dollars a day on the doing the crew jobs and if you're overseas and you're wondering whether brinks have got the ability to convert a currency into gold well yes they do because of the um, shanghai gold exchange and all the gold that's coming out of this area here it's huge and they're just ramping up production so i hope you found that information helpful and if you could share this information around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.